The South Fork of the Snake River near Idaho Falls is a treasured native Yellowstone cutthroat trout fishing stream and a popular recreation area. Multiple agencies work together to combat noxious weeds in the South Fork Canyon via the Upper Snake River Cooperative Weed Management Area. Last year, a steep hillside needed treatment for hound's tongue and musk thistle. The Fremont County Weed Department treated the weeds with their big drone. And there was one large hillside that they had spent a full crew backpacking it the year before, spent four days on it. We took the drone up, they spent a few hours on it and sprayed that whole hillside with one drone. Officials with the Caribou Targi National Forest agreed. We had an area that's really hazardous to walk crews up with a backpack. You can't drive a vehicle on it and stuff. So we said, let's try this out. It was great. I got to sit at the bottom of the hill and watch five acres get treated without hiking up and down a 200 vertical feet through the lava rocks to treat the weed. Fremont County has been making big strides in its noxious weed control program by adding three drones to its fleet. Assistant weed manager Chase Hershey is their drone pilot. The drones allow Fremont County to treat over 6,000 acres a year while also assisting partner agency to treat weeds on state and federal lands. The use of drones in natural resources management and agriculture is growing rapidly. Fremont County officials want to be on the leading edge of that trend. The drones, they've they found their place in our county and they've performed well. Like, we enjoy using them. They've done a good job. We do contract work. We'll do, obviously, the county work, roadsides, gravel pits, like that. We're also hired to do private rangelands and pastures. And we also have contracts with Forest Service, BLM, railroad, highways. We do all that work as well. Preventing the spread of noxious weeds is a big job for Idaho County statewide. The spread of noxious weeds on Idaho's rangelands is considered one of the top three threats to the shrub steppe ecosystem. Noxious weeds can outcompete native plants, reduce natural food sources for birds and wildlife, and increase the threat of destructive large wildfires. Rangeland pasture, non-crop is our specialty. Fremont County invested in its first drone two years ago. We actually had a landowner that showed interest in it. Um, Bert Bryce, my boss, talked about how we want to move into the future, working forward, have the latest technology. Landowner heard that and he's like, hey, this could really benefit me as well. I'll help put in for it and let's get it going. So then we quickly got it and started running. It runs Farm. cattle and he actually has farmland and cattle, but we've sprayed a lot of his rangeland is what it is. And hard to reach areas for leafy spurge. The drone here in front of Hershey is the county's smallest drone, equipped with a two-gallon tank. That's enough to cover one acre of ground. Their other drones hold five gallons and ten gallons each. The bigger the drone, the faster you can cover a field. A lot of the jobs that this has taken, we used to do with backpacks. And a backpack carries about a quarter acre of chemical at a time, and you spend hours hiking, this knocks it out in minutes. Another drone project that worked out well was treating weeds on the face of Island Park Dam. They'd spend all day backpacking across that dam. This goes back and forth and does it all in 10, 20 minutes. Fremont County also carefully sprayed the islands on the world-renowned Henry's Fork of the Snake River, a blue ribbon trout stream. In the past, there's been no weed control on those islands. And they've all been taken over by Canada Thistle. Five fishermen have complained about it. We took the drones and I could map them from the aerial maps and whatnot. And we flew the drones in and just sprayed all those islands. Super easy, got it taken care of. And we've done that a couple of years in a row now, helping in those areas. The drone controls allow the operator to map the perimeter of the area you'd like to treat. Hershey explains. Most of the jobs, I just set a boundary 
and then it will grid it out and I basically click go. So from takeoff to landing, I just monitor it. Hershey tracks the spray area and saves the digital image. Hershey says the drones do a more complete job than a human operator. I've actually seen a more effective kill with the drones in my opinion. They're getting better coverage, they're not having skips or overlaps, and where they spray a smaller droplet size, the plants are reacting faster. So I'd say they're doing great. The drones help reduce damage to all-terrain vehicles used to spray weeds. People tend to push their four-wheelers to where they shouldn't sometimes as well. Four-wheeler accidents, you have repairs, workman's comp, all that come in. The drone, if it goes and does that, no one's at risk, so no one's getting hurt. The equipment's not getting broken. It saves a lot of money there as well. Hansen says the Caribou Targi will be looking to create its own aerial weed control program in the future. The forest's long-range management plan has been updated to allow aerial control of noxious weeds. We're looking forward to getting a drone program of some type because we've probably got enough acres we could treat with a drone all summer and maybe not get it all then. The same drones come with an attachment for spreading seeds to replant or reclaim a site. The Jenkins family, for example, worked with the county to seed the banks of a gravel pit. That was a big step forward to reclaiming it and putting back the vegetation that we need to hold the slopes. What's telling you that how great the county guys are, you know, the, and the county commissioners, you know, everyone in the county is just great to work with, you know, and they, I think, you know, they, they take ideas that are given to them and they actually do something with them rather than just talk about it, you know. And I'm afraid to kind of put their neck out there a little and ask, well, why can't we do it? I think they're doing a great job.